from the knowledge of central dogma we know that rna is produced or synthesized from dna with the help of rna polymerase enzymes in a process that known as transcription after synthesizing the rnas those rnas can be divided into two broad categories one is coding rna and another one is non coding rna Hello friends welcome to biology concern i am animesh and in this video i am going to discuss about the coding and non coding rnas so what are they what is the overview of this total topic so let's jump into the topic first as i mentioned earlier that from the knowledge of central dogma we know that from dna rna is basically produced so this rna can be classified into two broad categories one is coding rna and another one is non coding rna okay coding and non coding rna so <clears throat> what are the coding rnas and what are the non coding rnas basically coding rnas are those rnas which ultimately synthesize synthesize or produce or able to produce proteins enzymes and other functional products other functional products which can work inside of cell okay so basically coding rnas are those rnas which ultimately can synthesize or produce either proteins or enzymes or other functional products that actual helps in cell living okay so these are the uh, rnas that are known as coding rnas so basically from nucleus so if we draw a diagram here so from nucleus here dna is present right so in nucleus dna is present so from dna a pre mrna is produced so this is the pre mrna pre mrna so after that those pre mrna uh, are gone through a process known as splicing okay so after splicing it actually produces a particular rna or mrna that particular mrna can transport from nucleus to cytoplasm so from nucleus to cytoplasm okay with the help of nuclear pore so nuclear pore it actually travels from nucleus to the cytoplasm where ribosome can bind with them so ribosome basically bind with them and produces the functional copy of polypeptide chain and those polypeptide chains ultimately gives rise to proteins okay so these rnas are known as so these rnas are known as coding rna so example of the coding rna is mrna so basically mrna or messenger rna is a coding rna okay so this is about coding rna so what is non coding rna so non coding rnas are basically those rnas which cannot uh, synthesis or unable to produce any functional product like proteins or enzymes but they works on cell in various manners okay so basically non coding rnas or this type of rnas are unable unable to produce any protein or enzymes but they actually needed for the cell to survive okay so but they but they actually 
works within within the cell okay and they are very much essential for that particular cell or for any cell uh, to <coughs> live reproduce and performing its functions so basically example of this kinds of rnas are no are uh, trnas or transfer rna rrna that is the ribosomal rna mirna that is the micro rna SIRNA, SNORNA, HNRNA, ZIST, etc. So, those particular non coding RNAs are broadly classified into two different categories. So, one is long non coding RNAs, long non coding RNAs and short non-coding RNAs okay so in my next video I will discuss about uh, long non-coding RNAs and short non-coding RNAs what are actually they but in this video we are observe that coding RNA are those RNAs which ultimately can produce protein or enzyme but in case of non-coding RNAs, they are, uh, they are unable to produce any kind of proteins or enzymes. So basically, these RNAs are essential for a cell to perform or to live. But they are unable to make proteins or enzymes. So this is the overview of the concept that is the uh, difference between coding and non-coding RNAs. I hope you like that video and if you like that video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.